This episode is sponsored by Google Play with the help of Disney Princess Majestic Quest. From the studio who brought you Lion King One and a Half, Mulan Two, and Lady and the Tramp Two Scamps Adventure, comes a Disney animated film that's nothing like their lazy direct-to-video sequels of the past because this one came out in theaters. Frozen Two. Six years after Frozen melted your heart, you grew up and moved on to better things. But when there's money to be made, some companies just can't let it go. In this scattershot follow-up, wrapped around an album's worth of B-sides, that's vague and world-buildy enough to set the stage for Frozen's three through seven and a half, Scamp's Adventure. That was epic. All your favorite characters are back to who they were at the beginning of Frozen 1. Elsa's still moping on balconies. Anna still caught between her sister and a mister. Kristoff has so little to do, they give him the plot of a 1930s comedy act. I said you'd have to be crazy to want to marry a man you just met. Wait, what? Crazy? You didn't say I was crazy. You think I'm crazy? No. And Olaf is doing his best to hold it all together until he joins the Disney Hall of Dust. But what they all lack in character growth, they make up for in costume upgrades. Mom, I already told you. I want the self-actualized Elsa with the sparkly personal growth dress. This is fearless Queen Elsa with the gossamer dream cape, idiot. And where's new permafrost Olaf? Are you ready to set off on a quest to discover the dark secret of Arendelle? Not so fast. First, listen to this bedtime story. And then a lullaby. There's a river. Then get a crime song stuck in your head. Then everyone just kind of meets up for a hang. Then a song about how every minute brings us closer to death. And we're all getting older. Then, wow, we're still not off on a quest yet. Okay, I guess we have time for a full game of charades. Then just one more lullaby. Sleep, Sleep my darling. And now we'll set off on a quest. Phew, Frozen 1 managed to fit all the plot and character setup into one song, with time left over to build a snowman. When our heroes finally get their ices in gear, they'll go explore the enchanted forest known as the Enchanted Forest, a hidden world full of cutting-edge particle effects and dull rejects from Avatar The Last Airbender. There, they'll learn the dark truth about Arendelle. Long ago, they betrayed the indigenous people to the north. And by long ago, I mean Grandpa did it. Grandfather? But if you think this is setting up some hard choices or sacrifice or even commentary on historical injustice, it isn't. Everything's just fine. Who else was in on the plot? Do the people to the north want revenge? Shut up! Elsa's got a water horse now. So strap in for a brand new Frozen that could get sued by Thor Ragnarok if Disney didn't already own everything. We do this together, okay? Has no one been taught our history? Odin and I drowned entire civilizations in blood and tears. But that goes against everything Arendelle stands for. Uh, made of rocks, as you can see. It seems to know it's less interesting or fun than the first one, so most of the runtime is spent reminiscing about it. Let's make the big snowman. When you pretend to be Kristoff and you're like, I just need to go talk to some rocks about my childhood. I climbed the North Mountain, survived a frozen heart, and saved you from my ex-boyfriend. Two sisters. One born with magical powers. One born powerless. What did happen to your parents? The ship went down in the Southern Sea six years ago. Hey! Do you want to build a snowman? And if you're expecting song parodies at this point, inspiration didn't really strike twice for this movie, and it didn't for us either. So just go scream Into the Unknown as loud as you can until you pass out. You'll get the gist. Into the Unknown! No! Starring Frosty the Sidekick, the last black man in Arendelle. They look like big, strong hands, don't they? Toothless, Norwegian Rhapsody, the best friend from a rom-com that plays basketball with the male lead. The blink and you'll miss it gay character that Disney will pat itself on the back about. Kid sister, kid sister, wherever I froze, she goes. And the fifth element. Rise of Ice Walker. Wow, Olaf's only three years old and he's already doing observational comedy. Every Arendellian ship has a, a compartment, waterproof. That's very clever. Although it does make me wonder why they don't just make the whole ship waterproof. This episode is sponsored by Google Play. Get Disney Princess Majestic Quest and discover more on Google Play. Take me to your leader or Robert Downey Jr., depending on who's nearest. 
the foremost world-renowned international school of Lucha. I am Spartacus.